Unusual twins you won't believe exist. Part four. Hello, everyone. I'm Keisha, and have a great day. There are a number of special twins in this world, but that doesn't mean they can't be as determined as that. But that doesn't mean they can't be as determined as anyone else. Some people overcome those difficulties to live a full life, while others try to accept it to make life easier. Join me and meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Chung and Ange Bunker. Chung and Ange Bunker were born on May 11, 1811, in Samut Songkran Province, Thailand. When they were born, the two were conjoined together at the waist with many ligaments, which surprised everyone. And from that moment on, they have to stick together in all their activities. In 1829, they were brought to America to perform. Robert Hunter, an English merchant, realized the possibility of making a lot of money from the twins' ring appearance, so he persuaded their mother and was accepted. A conjoined twin at that time was easy to make many people curious and buy tickets to see them. At the end of their performing career, they opened a plantation in North Carolina, USA, and started their own business and quickly became the richest people in the United States. They married two sisters. Chang had 10 children and Ange had 11 children. Brothers, Chang and Ange Bunker, once thought about having surgery to separate each other, but because they were afraid of losing part of their arm, they did not perform this surgery. Besides, at that time, because medicine was not yet developed, such surgeries were also very dangerous to the lives of both people. Both died on the same day in January 1874. Chang contracted pneumonia and died suddenly in his sleep. A doctor was called in for an emergency separation operation, but Ange refused to be separated from his dead brother. Ange died three hours later. Number 4. Millie and Christine McCoy Millie and Christine McCoy were born into slavery in 1851 in North Carolina. Their parents were slaves, owned by a blacksmith named Chavis McKay. McKay saw the twins' commercial value and sold them for $1,000 to a dealer for public display. The twins were sold and bought several towns, eventually settling down with Joseph Pearson Smith and his family. They were hired to participate in various street shows and became known as the Carolina Twins. The two girls were then kidnapped and taken to England, where they continued to perform. However, Smith found the twins and brought them back to America. The girls continued to perform and soon became known as the Two-Headed Nightingale, or the Eighth Wonder of the World. In 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation ended slavery, but Millie and Christine decided to stay with the Smith family. However, Millie's poor health prevented the twins from performing, and they returned home to rural Columbus County, where they continued their charity work. On October 8, 1912, Millie and Christine died at the age of 61 of tuberculosis. Christine died 12 hours after her sister. Number 3. Layden and Layla Buchani Layden and Layla Buchani were born on January 17, 1974, in Firuzabad, a city in southwestern Iran, as world-famous conjoined twins. They were conjoined at the head and died shortly after their complicated separation surgery. Coincidentally, these twins were born a century after the death of Jiang and Ang Bunker. The Bichani sisters went missing in a hospital in 1979 and were later found in 1996, now adults. Layden wants to be a lawyer, while Layla wants to be a journalist. In the end, they decided on Layden's choice. They studied law for four years at the University of Tehran. Most other personal decisions are also subject to mutual consent. For these and other reasons, they have wanted to be apart since they were kids. In addition, the two sisters have different interests. While Lale enjoys playing computer games, Layden is more interested in computer programming. Layden also describes Layla as more introverted and rather talkative. In November 2002, the sister went to Singapore to undergo a controversial surgery. Despite being warned by doctors, separation surgery was still carried out with many risks. On July 8, 2003, the operation took place. Iran Lale and Leyden Bajani, together for 29 years, died within 90 minutes after doctors separated them 
but were unable to control their bleeding in the unprecedented operation. In their homeland, people screamed with shock or cried as state television disrupted their normal program to announce their death on the third day of surgery in Singapore. Number 2. Giovanni Battista and Giacomo Born in 1877 in Basilisata, Giovanni Battista and Giacomo Toggi each had a head, a heart, and two lungs, but shared only two legs, an anus, and a penis. They have their own intelligence and personality, feelings, and sense of independence. They can command the respective leg, but cannot command the other. Therefore, they cannot work. The parents of two boys see their birth as an opportunity that can be financially profitable. After a month, the children were brought to Turin to perform in public and well paid. Then, it's time for a real tour of all the major cities of Europe. The boys then went to the United States to perform. During one performance, writer Mark Twain was able to watch them live, and the event became the inspiration for his story, The Extraordinary Twins. In 1897, they decided to retire for a more private life. They bought a villa in Venice and settled there, avoiding all contact with the outside world. Seven years after retiring from performing, they married two separate women. After that, information about the two brothers became less. One source recorded their death in 1906, while another said that in 1912, they were alive and surrounded by descendants. Finally, there are those who claim that they died in 1940 without children. Number 1. Yvonne and Yvette MacArthur Yvonne and Yvette MacArthur were born in California at Los Angeles General Hospital on May 14, 1949. They are cranial pagus twins conjoined at the head. They have separate personalities, brains, and other organs, but share a common circulatory system. Doctors determined that the twins share so much brain tissue that they could not be separated safely according to the will of the mother. Willa MacArthur. Because they share brain tissues, doctors say the twins may have mental retardation. However, they proved the doctor was wrong. They developed above average intelligence and were so physically active that their mothers feared they would break their necks. Their movements were coordinated and they walked and even ran in perfect synchrony. At first, their mother turned down invitations to the show, but when she couldn't pay the hospital bills, she and her children spent six months touring with the Royal American Circus. With the $300 a week the family earned, Miss MacArthur was able to pay for the hospital and send the children home. Although the sisters couldn't go to school, the teacher could come to their house to teach them and they graduated from high school. Sadly, the two sisters passed away on December 15, 1992 in their own apartment. But it was not until January 1, 1993 that they were discovered. Although their mother refused an autopsy, the cause of death was attributed to heart failure, perhaps from heavy smoking by the twins. They are special, aren't they? I think if I were one of them, I would gladly take pride in my life as well. If you know someone special, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, Goodbye and see you again.